that's generally what happened. You see the new anti-shark camo for wetsuit? No. Guys, yeah, they, they yeah. just come out with it, and now they're all different kinds of, it looks like camouflage, but blue and different shapes. Mm -hmm. Because that long bow that you see that they have is because it has more sensory structures. Mm -hmm. So they have better geo reception, chemo reception within that. And so wow. other sharks aren't that naturally adept, so they've got to wait their turn along the Just kind of upcycle some spots because this is an example of what you can't necessarily walk to. And so you can kind of see how this is closer. Do you have anything you would like to add? Yeah, so this is the old uh, reciprocal trash class experiment. So uh, we're looking at and genotype by environment interactions with corals because some corals can really survive well in changing climates and some can't. These corals started out from only a square centimeter. They're little tiny fragments, there are 30 genotypes that we placed in different environments. These are the survivors after about 10 years. They made it through two bleaching events. And, uh, but they're kind of few and far between and we're just trying to clean up this remnant old experiment and make it look nicer um, so that uh, it's not an eyesore. But there's sharks in the way. <laughs>